Hi guys, it is Sunday today. Tomorrow I have work, which means of course there is so, so many preparations to be done. The biggest one is childcare, uh, but that has been sorted out. I've just dropped Harrison off my parents for the night. He is gonna stay there tonight because it just makes more sense. Uh, it's not always possible, but tonight thankfully it is. Um, it just means that in the morning I'm not creeping around super quiet getting ready and then Mike doesn't have to drop him like before going to work himself. I'm quite often asked like the logistics of childcare with my job and it is really really difficult uh, depending on whether I'm working like a standby or a long haul flight, uh, short haul flights. I could be away for like days at a time which actually sometimes works out easier. I normally have to sort it out like weeks in advance we all have to get our calendars out and work out who's around. Is it a nursery day? Who can do nursery pickup, drop offs, etc. Now I have dropped Harrison off. It's time, like, for myself to get prepared. I need to make sure my uniform's ready. Uh, I need to pack my bag. Again, thankfully, it is just a short haul flight, so I'm going to be doing that there and back in a day, just like two legs, uh, which means obviously not as much packing because I hate packing as much as I pack all the time I still cannot pack lightly to fake tan I'm not going to wash my hair because my hair does have to go up and I find if I wash it the night before clean hair doesn't work for me and I need it to be a little bit gritty uh, I need to make sure the house is all like ready for when Harrison get like for when I get back tomorrow night ready for nursery on Tuesday uh, I need to make my pack lunch so so much to do so i'm gonna get started this is all very much real time so please excuse the chaos so here is my trolley bag my little wheelie bag um and inside it you may have wondered like oh what's inside their bags absolutely nothing very exciting at all so the first thing is shoes now for work we have to have two pairs of shoes one with a higher heel which is actually these babies which i really need to replace but they're comfortable and then um this pair which again need a bit of a polish with a lower heel they are from pavers which is like a super granny shop but they are so so comfortable which for a 12 hour day is what you need go so alongside that is a little shoe polish um i clearly need to do this so I'm going to do this before work. Uh, but yeah, they just go inside my little calf Kidston shoe bag. Um, I've had this for years and years and years, but I'm sure they do something similar. I then have a super glamorous pair of oven gloves that need to go in the bag. Therefore, obviously, like working in the galley, them ovens are crazy hot. So you've got to be safe. Next is a super glamorous high-vis. Uh, we have to wear that airside. So that just goes in there. Then I have copious amounts of tights. So I normally carry around like two packs of tights because there's literally nothing worse than getting a ladder at the beginning of a day. I always get Primark ones because they're cheap and cheerful and I can just kind of throw them away at the end of the day, which I know sounds really wasteful, but there's nothing worse than washing and drying tights all of the time. Then I have my money wallet, which I have to have at work. We all get given like a float at the beginning of our flying career, I guess, and it just sticks with us. At the end of every flight, we count our money. So that's like a complete essential. There's a random tea bag here, uh, but they'll always be floating around any cabin crew member's bag. And we'll come back to that later. Now, tomorrow is just a short haul, so I don't need to pack like a separate suitcase, which I normally would. But I always take like a night stop kit just in case we end up being delayed or stuck down route somewhere. So I'll just take like a little spare bikini and trousers, and I've got a top shop cami here. It's just like an easy outfit, um, kind of works for any kind of weather. And then an eye mask because that is essential in some hotels. I have a universal plug here which kind of works for every single country and USBs and all that jazz so I know that I am, you know, my technology is going to be safe. Um, and then I have just a random packet of painkillers, a little sewing kit that I picked up in a hotel somewhere and then of course more tights. 
Other things that will go inside this case are my uniform, like spares. Um, I'm not going to show you that because obviously it will give away who I work for. But that's kind of the essentials to what go in my trolley bag. So when it comes to like airport regulations and rules, we have the same as passengers. So like 100 mil for the whole liquid rule um, is the same, which is super annoying when it's your job because it kind of restricts us. I'd love to be able to take like my own juice or a full size bottle of hairspray or unlimited makeup, but rules are rules. So these are the things that are always in my liquids bag. So as you could imagine, I'm a sucker for a mini. In here I've got um, a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. These are like a crew essential. Um, I have a miniature uh, this works in transit skin defense moisturizer this may look like a bumble and bubbles air spray it was once upon a time but inside it's actually like a little bit of comfort like fabric conditioner and water just to freshen up my uniform if it's like smells of like airplane food or maybe on a long haul trip and it's been in the wardrobe or something um super glam then I have in here some redness eye drops because it's so dry on a flight and my eyes go red and tired and then we've got some of the origins no puffery um cooling roll on under eye thing what else have we got in here which is tipped over um elizabeth arden eight hour cream this is kind of for everything so if i have like a little graze or a cut or my lips are dry this is just like I, this is just like everything for me. I have a Jerlik uh, balancing face mist. This is kind of used to cool me down and then give me a little bit of calm when necessary. And then of course, a little hairspray here. So in front of me, I have my work handbag, but it's very like company branded. So I'm not gonna hold it up and show you. I'm just gonna kind of drag things out of it that may or may not be of interest you know what's in my bag kind of style though a lot less glamorous um the first thing i have is a random nail file you will always need a random nail file i have mints because why not um pain relief i'm a big one on pain relief I can't bear to have a headache and I always suffer with migraines so I need these. I always have this certain tablet like in my real life handbag and my work one. This is the Walgreens Migraine Relief and if I can, re can I recommend medication? I mean it's not over the counter so yeah I guess so. This is brilliant. Um, I have random bits of paper in here. We have like a lot of paperwork in my job. Um, which you wouldn't think, you would never think like, oh cabin crew, they've got a lot of paperwork, but there's like a lot of bar stuff, so there's tons of things and like safety notices and stuff, little tickets and... Next we have a passport, uh, so many people say to me, do you need a passport? And the answer is yes, um, whilst we have our airport ID, which is recognised in most countries, they just look at that and be like, yeah that's fine. Some places will want to see your visa, they want to stamp you like in and out. And if you haven't got this, you're not going anywhere. So that's like, you don't leave without this or your ID, like ever. Um, so we've got an unopened packet of earplugs. You never know. Um, pens, tons of pens, but you can never underestimate a Sharpie and a hotel pen. If you're on a flight and the crew member says that they haven't got a pen, they are fibbing to you because we pick them up in every hotel that we go to. More tea bags. Again, onto that later when I do my pack lunch. Um, I've got wipes here. I'm not a wipe girl when it comes to skincare. However, needs must and I haven't got like room for every skincare product in my liquids bag. If I'm going away, I'll take the whole shebang. It's like the weight is always like 20 kilograms and it's always product, um, but needs must. They are the clinic, 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 take the day off one. And as far as wipe, wipes go, they're pretty good. 
hair grips. Do I even need to say anything more about hair grips? I go through packs and packs and packs of stuff. Um, sunglasses. These are my key Australia ones. I didn't even know they were in there. These are the pink cat eye ones. Love them. And tissues. Um, a whole packet it seems of miscellaneous and um, more painkillers lady bits so many passengers ask for them i'm like whipping them out here there and everywhere um what else have i got in here yeah just tons of paperwork all my name badges um my wings and stuff um obviously like i said earlier my liquids bag but that will be like chock-a-block in the morning once I've done my makeup and my foundation has to go in there, my concealer, lipsticks, lip glosses, mascaras. Uh, I need to put a hand cream in there as well. Uh, what else does to go in there? I'm sure there's something missing from here. I've got my perfume. I can't think, but there is definitely something missing in there. If I, Like I said, I'll be like running backwards and forwards and there will be gonna really annoy me though why is it i can't think of the other thing that's missing from my liquids bag although i do know that as well as that what goes into my handbag is my makeup bag which is a whole different story and on flights like girls and guys that know that i'm like massively into makeup are always like oh can we have a rummage uh, which is like kind of my favorite part of the flight um but another essential is a watch i've had this watch since I started my flying career, my little mini Casio, um, I've got it in gold as well, and you have to have a watch as part of your uniform, um, so yeah, this bad boy just comes off my wrist at the end of the flight and go, well, at the end of the day, go straight into my bag so I don't forget it, um, as well as like my ID, passport and all of that jazz. I need to sort out my uniform, get that all like sorted out hung up ready for tomorrow with I literally get everything ready down to the last tee so I'll hang up my like my dress my jacket my coat my tights my underwear and um, my shoes I don't hang up my shoes but they're there ready just to chuck on get ready and go um now I need to what do I need to do now I might go and make a start on my packed lunch so this is my lunch box one of many i've replaced it several times because i'm forever leaving it on board uh, but inside is just um basically tea bags and coffee sweets random well i've decanted a little oh, it's a bit stuck um coffee there because that's like a, a stronger coffee um wow well, oh a lipstick that I've been looking for for ages which is fabulous Bobbi Brown warm nude so these are my teas and coffees which may seem you know a little bit extreme but we all have a cup of tea and coffee and they're not just for me like we do share um a few little random sweets um some icebreakers just to give you that little bit of well it says sugar free so they're not going to give me that bit of sugar but they'll give me something couple of cereal bars also this is like if I'm down great then it's really good to have like a little snack if I'm away for like more than two days I always take like a packet of biscuits and nibbly things and like mug shots or pastas and stuff even packs of like I don't know hot cross buns or croissants just so I know that I've got breakfast and then these are lifesavers so let me show you the box they're like single to go like squashes so my favorite is the crush orange and then these every flight i tend to like um drink about a liter and a half of water sometimes more but it can get really boring so these just kind of they dilute into your water turn it into a juice and just make it a little bit more bearable um and crew love them so again i take like a whole bunch of those to share around so like eating aeroplane food is, I like it from time to time on my holidays, every day, not so much. So I always try my best to take a packed lunch. I normally end up picking it up at the airport. Um, but today, well, 
for tomorrow I'm just gonna try and make a little salad or something just so I know that I've got my own little option there otherwise it's so easy to just eat all of the, the bad stuff so for tomorrow I've made obviously I can't just take a packed lunch because I'm there for like breakfast lunch and dinner and although they do like supply food I've just I like a packed lunch so I've got a tuna sandwich here and then he that's gonna be for lunch then for dinner I've got a whole grain rice and quinoa with some feta some vine tomatoes cucumber um, and then some spare although with the hundred mil liquid ban sometimes I get away with this sometimes I don't but we'll give it a go um, and then a banana I'll probably check in some chocolate as well just to keep me going and that is probably all I'll eat tomorrow so I have now prepared my lunch, prepared my dinner, hung up my uniform, got my bags ready. I just need to kind of get myself ready now. So that means I need to paint my nails, they're chipped, and I also need to complement my lip colour. So I need to think about what makeup I want to wear. Um, I'm going to have a bath, fake tan, do something with my eyebrows because they're a bit unruly at the moment. And I don't think I'm actually going to wash my hair because day like two or day three, sometimes hair works a lot better. Yeah. I try to get as much done as I can the night before because, you know, I just want as much done in prep as possible. I also really like to have an early night. I need like eight hours sleep, so whatever that is, I'll probably be in bed by like eight or nine tonight. So I'm now bathed and fake tanned. Um, I need to pack my makeup bag because I don't want to disturb Mike in the morning. Normally my, um, Harrison's here, so the last thing I want to do is like wake him up at crazy o'clock in the morning. So I tend to take everything downstairs, so all I have to do is wake up, take my phone charger out, because that comes with me, go and shower, brush my teeth and everything, and then go straight downstairs where I can get dressed and glam myself up. So I need to decide what I need now, because there's nothing worse than like fumbling around in the dark trying to find a lipstick. So... I think tomorrow, because I am, I think I'm going to be pretty tanned, I'm going to take my trusty MAC Studio Fix Fluid, which I've recently gone back to. It's like, I don't know, it's one of them foundations I had when I first got into makeup and I was in Blue Water recently and I just went back to it. So I'm going to give that a go. So I've got to put my foundation brush in, then concealer, Bobby Brown. Um, eyebrows, eyeliner is going to be my Bobbi Brown long wear um, gel eyeliner because it is long wearing and that is what I need, it won't smudge throughout the day. My Charlotte Tilbury film style bronze and glow, so that will be like my highlighter and bronzer or contour. Charlotte Tilbury legendary lashes, we just use my Urban Decay naked because it's a good mirror as well. So I need a couple of brushes for that. Lipstick. So I think I'm just going to keep with the red lipstick. So I think I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury. Tell Laura. Mm, I always worry about a red lip on a flight because they are quite hard to maintain. Especially if you get all hot and sweaty. Um, but I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for it today. But I will probably just pop in. A nude as well or something like on a flight you don't want anything too drying either um, I'm just gonna take Bobbi Brown soft nude just in case um, a couple of hair bands I've got my grips also I remembered what was missing from my um, my liquids bag and it's deodorant the only deodorant I will use on a flight or I like to have a spray to like top up but um to begin the day sure maximum protection is the only deodorant i'll use i don't think there's anything else i've got to do i've taken off all of my jewelry because i can't have like my nice little bracelet on um so yeah i think i'm gonna now go and <laughs> do the bed sheets do all that stuff set my alarm and go to bed so i'll probably see you in the morning
so I'm very much ready now. I've checked to see if we've like delayed or anything and we're not. So it means that I have to get dressed now and normally save like getting dressed until the very last minute just in case I climb back into bed for any reason. So I'm at work now. I probably won't be back tonight until like half ten maybe which seems crazy long but it's because we're flying into a different base and then getting a taxi from there back to Gatwick um so yeah it's a pretty long day but you know I didn't have the greatest sleep Ugh, and I kept snoozing this morning which actually I think makes you feel worse um but yeah my check-in is what's the time now my check-in's in about half an hour's time so I'm gonna go and get on the crew bus at the car park <laughs> um and go and check in and do my briefing and stuff i'm not going to take you guys to work with me because i'm pretty sure that's kind of crossing a boundary and is probably some kind of security breach uh, but yeah this is kind of my how i prep for work what i take to work kind of thing i'll do a different one for a long haul which will show you more of like what I've, pretty much what i pack for like a holiday if this kind of video is something you'd like to see more of then definitely let me know um i'm definitely more open to filming like different kinds of videos now so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys soon bye